Hey guys, I'm here with another one of my vintage uh, transformer sets. Um, I've decided to sell my original uh, G1 Constructicon Devastator set. This is an original vintage set. This is not a knockoff. This set is basically brand new. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you everything in just a second. All right, I'm going to show you the box. Let's get into this here. All right, uh, there is Bone Crusher in the box. Uh, they are not stickered, by the way. I'll show you everything is, is brand new. No, no stickers uh, have been applied. Let's uh, move along to Scavenger. Let's move along to Scrapper. There's the bottom of the box. Let's move over. Mix Master. Moving up to Long Haul and moving up to Hook. All right, so there you go. There is everything in the box. All right, let's take a look at the graphics here for Devastator. I like taking these videos because once I sell them, I actually have some kind of archive, <laughs> a remembrance of uh, what I used to have. Uh, but uh, there you go, guys. Uh, this box is in amazing shape, um, just to let you know. Uh, let's go ahead, and I'm just going to move this box to the side, uh, just show you that it is still sealed on one side, factory. Um, the box is in really, really good shape for being 30-some years old. Um, there is the factory tape right there. Let me zoom in on the factory tape there. You can see it is fully attached. Okay, and let's move along to the back of the box. So let me zoom out a little bit here. Careful. Sorry about the motion blur here. All right, there's the back of the box. Let me give you a full shot of the box first, and then I'll actually go ahead and zoom in. All right, now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, just move forward so I can show you everything on the back of the box. Like I said, this is 100% G1 original, 30 some years old, vintage. No knockoffs, I never sell knockoffs. Um, I only collect uh, authentic G1. And uh, I've just decided to start selling some of my, my uh, collection, little by little here. Uh, I've got some other projects I'm going to use the money for. I'll move over here so I can show you the rest of the box. Like I said, the box is in amazing, amazing shape. Uh, really, really a nice box. Very, very bright graphics. Once again, I keep all of my toys in a room that has no sunlight. Everything is kept behind glass in either a Billy bookcase with a glass uh, door or Detolfs, Ikea. So you can be assured that everything is 100% nice and minty. Okay, so let's go, got to move over to the other side of the box. Okay, this is the other side here. This is the side that is opened. Still a very, very nice representation. A little bit of a little bit of crinkle down here. Nothing, nothing major. Okay. And there is the tape severed. I kind of wish the tape was not severed, but uh, unfortunately it is. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you the inside. All right, I'm just gonna zoom out for a second here and be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to unbox everything. I had to take my time with it, but uh, here we go. Let me try to show you everything about my G1 Constructor Saigon uh, Devastator set. All right, first, uh, I guess we'll start with the accessories. Um, we have the vac metal chrome accessories. I'm wearing gloves for this one, guys, because like I said, I've never actually touched these with bare hands. Uh, everything is uh, is new. Uh, there are definitely items that have fallen off their sprue, but uh, 
uh, there everything is virtually untouched so I just want to show you all this all right so here we go uh, first you have the uh, the drillers uh, as you can see the vac metal didn't get applied down towards the bottom uh, it's actually purple underneath these but I just want to show you these are attached to the sprue and uh, you can see these are actually green parts with vac metal chrome I believe it's vac metal I don't know the actual process they did in 1986 <laughs> But uh, here we go. Uh, here's all three guns. They are, they have uh, fallen off their sprue, but they are mint. Uh, here are the mini guns. All four have fallen off their sprue, but they are mint. Moving on to the parts, to the combiner parts. Uh, this bag is not open. This is factory sealed still. Okay. And uh, as you can see, here are all the parts for uh, his belt and uh, moving along here uh, this uh, the seal has broken on this so I figured I'd show you up close these parts uh, there's Devastator's head nice and fresh and minty unused you can see how nice that is beautiful all right moving along uh, here is the booklet minty once again a little decoder and oh here's the sticker sheet this is very important here this is an original sticker sheet there's no knockoffs here. This is all real, guys. All real. I've had this in my collection for years and years and years. All right. Show you the back of it. There's the back. It's kind of a little yellowed on the back, but that's the back of it. Hard to see on camera. Okay. All right. There is the little insert that it comes with. And here is the uh, instruction sheet, all nice and minty, uh, not uh, used and abused. It is mint. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go over to the bots. Uh, so far what I've done is I have just basically just used my finger and gently popped them up. And now I'll go ahead and I'll show you each one of the bots. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of move this over towards the, uh, towards the light so you can get a better idea. All right, so we're gonna start off with Bone Crusher. Okay. And as you can see, we're talking, let me, uh, I'm gonna have to press the zoom here on the camera so you can see how nice this is. All right, now that's a factory applied sticker. That's the way it was. You know, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this with one hand here. So let me try to get on the copyright. There's the copyright Hasbro. Beautiful. I'm not going to transform, guys, because this, this is brand new. I'm not going to transform. I'm not going to mess with transforming. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go over to Scavenger. You know, I could probably bring them in the light. Probably better for you in the light. Scavenger. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at how that chrome shines. Bet you've never seen that before. <laughs> They're already seen some of your old toys. It's amazing. Okay. Um, I don't know where his copyright is. I'm sure it's on the inside somewhere. Oh, actually, it's right inside the tread. Let me see if you can see that or not. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Mm. Can you see that copyright, guys? It's kind of hard to see it, but that's where it is. This is all real. I'm not trying to deceive anybody. Look at uh, all the vintage ones that I've been selling. Everybody has been perfectly 100% happy with everything. All right, uh, move over to Scrapper. Here is Scrapper. Beautiful, beautiful. Factory applied stickers. can't remember. Oh, copyright is actually inside here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that, Hasbro? Okay. 
mix master. Factory applied sticker. show off that chrome. Um, let's see, where would the... I don't know where it would be on Mixmaster, to be honest with you, as far as the copyright. Um, it says number two in there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a number two in that purple area. Um, but I, I'm not going to transform. Once again, I promise these are all uh, original vintage. Um, I'm sure the copyright is in there somewhere. I just don't know and uh, I'm not going to transform them. So let's put him back and let's go over to Long Haul. Once again here is Long Haul. Mint factory. Beautiful. Factory applied stickers. Okay, there's the Hasbro. There you go. Once again, unused. Beautiful. I really hate to get rid of this. It's just uh, I'm going to be doing some new collecting for 2014, so I'm trying to uh, do some uh, downscaling a little bit here. Trying to raise money for other projects. All right, and here's uh, here's Hook. Here's the one that's always uh, damaged and beat up. Everybody loved Hook when they were a kid. Factory applied sticker. There's the chrome. Uh, well, I'm not too sure where his copyright was. Uh, I'm looking around for his copyright, but I don't know exactly where it is. I'm sure it's on the inside somewhere. Okay. So that's it. There is my uh, vintage Constructicon set. Uh, I'm going to take my time putting them all back in all nicely. So, so there you have it, guys. If you want a new uh, vintage untransformed uh, set, uh, with the exception of uh, the guns falling off the sprue, um, then here you go. This is the set for you. Um, unstickered, well, except for the factory applied stickers. Uh, these are the stickers that you would apply yourself. And that's it. So hope you enjoy. And whoever gets to win this auction uh, is going to be a very happy camper to have a mint vintage set. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. Take care.